डॉक्टर भट्टाचार्य आई वुड लाइक टू नो लाइक इफ यू कैन गिव अस सम आइडिया अबाउट एलर्जी एज वेल एज वॉट आर द एलर्जी टेस्ट अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड से दैट आई एम नॉट एलर्जोलॉजिस्ट आई एम नॉट एक्सपर्ट इन एलर्जी बट आई हैव टू सी पेशेंट्स ऑफ एलर्जी डे इन एंड डे आउट सिंस आई प्रैक्टिस जस्ट मेडिसिन एंड आई सी लॉट ऑफ पेशेंट्स विद एस्मा एलर्जी ट्राइनाइटिस एंड अदर थिंग्स एलर्जी इज ए इंडिविजुअल हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी टू सर्टन सब्सटेंसेस लाइक इफ आई गिव एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई हैव बीन टू सम प्लेस आई गॉट अ स्मेल एंड आई स्टार्ट स्नीजिंग that sneezing is nothing but a hypersensitivity to that smell and this is absolutely subjective so it is a subjective event to a particular object and this interaction is called atopy or allergy so this can happen to aero allergens that means those small substances been floating in the air it can happen to food it can happen to something that touches my skin so allergy can happen in different ways allergy is very common since we are exposed to nature and we are exposed to millions and millions of different kinds of things not all things we can take as friendly as we should have taken sometimes we take it with extra sensitivity and that extra sensitivity it may not be a enmity but it leads to some reaction asthma largely is allergic disease but uh, not all maybe 70% of asthma is allergy so i cannot escape allergy i have to see allergy and if you ask me how do i look for allergy that i take history of these patients i try to find whether these patients have got another allergic symptoms like a patient of asthma may have sneezing may have itching of eyes this is secondary to allergic rhinitis allergic conjunctivitis kind of that if this is there if similar family history is there if there is a seasonal variation means a particular allergen the substance that causing the hypersensitivity is there in a particular season so we take all these histories and then we decide it's likely allergic and then we decide to test for allergy first thing is to test for immunoglobulin e immunoglobulin e is a marker of allergy if it is raised we can take it as allergy provided the background is there it can be raised in many other conditions if you have got uh, helminthic infections you may have if you have got parasitic infection you may have raised ig it is not specific of allergy but if the background is like allergy and you have got a raised ig you can be fairly okay to say that it is allergic problem <coughs> and once you find ig raised in such a scenario then you need to know what is the allergen what is the exact thing that is causing hypersensitivity so that job is also done through tests and uh, that is called determination of the allergen if you want to know that i may say you that there are few methods the age old method is skin prick test where you put a bit of allergen on skin and prick your skin a little bit and you see the reaction there will be well formation and you measure that and the report say plus 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 like that so these are arbitrary it is little painful it is easy it is cheap it is uh, but there are side effects also it is not that specific sensitivity is okay but there are other tests to next test is blood test so in this case just to interrupt with you yeah. like uh, uh, what is the chance of anaphylaxis Uh, there is there is a certain chance of anaphylaxis uh, because you are testing with allergens hmm. antigens uh, that is of course there and it uh, it is there so uh, this is another very important point that to be kept in mind and before going for skin prick test people should be informed that there is a chance of anaphylaxis and one must be ready with the precautionary measures so that if there is anything you can tackle the situation next is blood test so there is an evolution of blood test in that the first thing that came is rast the rast is a test where you take blood and try see the allergens this is good but the of <coughs> but the latest is for your immunocap method where you can measure a particular uh, the total ig which is a particular ig very specifically and the and the specificity is very good this is the best method and this is the best um, way to see and quantitate allergy for any patients um, having an allergic disease and you can look for allergy in a um, whole array of uh, allergens which are commonly available 
uh, you can have uh, the common allergens as we find house dust mite, uh, sometimes cockroach antigen, sometimes aspergillus fungal antigens, uh, grass pollen or some other pollens. So these allergens we can have a quantitative measurement. So if you ask me what is the best way to measure allergy is to see IgE and then test specific allergy through immunocap method which is called FADIA also. So FADIA is the best test. Uh, it is very simple and there is no chance of anaphylaxis because you are drawing blood and you are testing outside the body. Mm. It is very reproducible and, um, and, and is um, uh, and, uh, highly accepted. And the only thing is um, it is a bit costly. The only thing is a bit costly. And um, I would recommend if you ask me that if one needs to do an allergy test and measurement of the allergens, it is better to do, go for FADIA. Uh, it provided it is available. It is not available freely. Mm. So this is a situation once you know the allergen, then the next question will come, how do you deal with that allergen? Mm. Either you get the patient or a susceptible person away from the allergen or get the patient uh, within the... Um, uh, 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 environment of the allergen but still try to keep him symptom free so this is our job we do in our fashion some people have um, allergy clinics they try to give proper education on how to avoid allergy like how's the smite we can avoid it sometimes it is not avoidable sometimes there are specific allergy one or two to one or two allergens there is a good uh, prospect of immunotherapy sometimes we cannot do much we have to give treatment for it so that's a different issue altogether. Hmm. That's about allergies. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your valuable time. Thank you. Thank you very much.